Masayoshi Nakatani is an absolute giant for lightweight. He is going to dwarf Vasily Lomachenko when they fight June 26. But that is precisely the opponent, the right opponent for Lomachenko, if he wants to try and get that rematch with Tiafimo Lopez, which of course he really wants to. It's a loss which I think he has found hard to digest. He has said some silly things, I think, that show that he hasn't fully come to terms with it and that really he needs to be focusing on what went wrong with that fight if he wants the rematch, not which rounds were close enough that you could have tipped the, de the decision my way because that's damage control. We need to talk about what went wrong. What do you need to do when Lopez is in front of you again? A naturally bigger man, a younger guy. Of course, we know that he basically needs to be more assertive from the get-go. Nakatani, I think, is a good stepping stone towards that. He is huge. Uh, Lomachenko is going to have to get close, work his magic, uh, do what he does so well. Getting right in front of your face, making little quarter circles around you and just disappearing before your eyes. High work rate, making you miss, making you feel stupid. It won't be easy because Nakatani fights with a lot of belief. Look how he conducted himself in his last fight against Felix Fadea. Flawed many times, not an easy fight. And yet every time he gets up, positive body language. He's on the front foot. He's putting you on the back foot. He fights with total belief. So this is going to be a hard night uh, at the office for, for the Matrix. I suspect the lack of top-end skill from Nakatani is what's going to make it easier for Lomachenko to manipulate him when he gets into his preferred range. And he has to get close. There's no other way. A guy who's got you by so much length and reach, you have to get close. You have to turn his supposed advantage into a disadvantage. He's going to have to lean down a little bit to try and get at you. That's going to make it easier for Lomachenko to pop that head back. Lomachenko Lopez for me now is probably the most interesting fight in all of boxing because I have very little faith in Terence Crawford, Errol Spence happening. They're just not interested. And I'm numb and bored with talk about Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. I really don't care. Let me know when they're actually walking to the ring. Then I'll switch it on. But Lomachenko Lopez is a very interesting rematch. Tactically speaking, could Lopez find the big shot this time? Would Lomachenko starting more assertively earlier, would that allow him to put on the pressure and just drown him with those superb skills that we became so accustomed to? That I think at that time before the loss, he was rightfully pound for pound number one. And of course, if Lomachenko is going to connect back onto that trajectory we all had him on, that kind of greatness, he has to rematch Lopez. And he has to beat him. Nakatani is an awkward, huge, difficult opponent who will not stop coming forward. So Lomachenko has to be switched on the whole time. He has to be super fit and his body has to hold up. This is a guy who's aging and has little niggling injuries. He has to be able to keep it all together at a high pace for 36 minutes. Do it better than Lopez did. Hardly get caught at all and then call him out because that is a fight I would love to see. I don't think Lopez really has anybody else because I think Devin Haney's going to go down his own route. I think Ryan Garcia is too much in love with social media. I think he, he's going to wait. He's very young as well. He's going to wait a long time before he has to go into a big fight. Who's Lopez fighting next? George Gambosis. Everybody is going to be calling louder for the rematch against Lomachenko, especially if Lomachenko does a real number on Nakatani. It's almost going to look comedic in there with the size difference between these two. But this is the fight Lomachenko needs to take. I have got him winning a dominant unanimous decision, looking pretty good in the process. How do you see the fight going? And do you agree with me that Lomachenko Lopez 2... Is boxing's biggest fight right now in terms of it possibly happening and in terms of just what hangs on it in terms of Lomachenko's legacy?